Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was just thinking, actually a viewer question or comment got me thinking about it. Has Moore's Law been proven wrong? And Moore's Law, if you're not familiar with it, states that, uh, actually I looked it up here, let me uh, tell you. It says, Moore's Law refers to an observation made by Intel co-founder, Gordon Moore in 1965. He noticed that the number of transistors per square inch on integrated circuits had doubled every year since their invention. Moore's Law predicts that this trend will continue into the foreseeable future. So basically what this has been known to be thought of as is that the theory that every year the computing power or the ability of computers is going to double. And the reason I got thinking about this, and one of our viewers um, was commenting on it, was, for instance, the Nikon D800's been replaced with the D810, but it ba basically that sensor, the 36, has been out for over three years, I think, now. Um, and if Moore's Law was applicable, and all else was equal, we should have seen a 100 megapixel plus sensor by now as good or better performing as the D810 is at 36 megapixels. So, has Moore's Law been proven wrong? Is it no longer the case? Do we make a big series of leaps in a few years and then it kind of trickled down? Our, um, our viewer writes in and um, they are saying that, let's see here, EDC Gadgets, one of our regulars, writes in and says, In the last four years, there was hardly any improvement in the megapixel count, even though, according to Moore's Law, we should be around 100 megapixels right now. So that's what I was saying, that with the 800 being about three years old or more, we should have been at 100 megapixels. The technology to make 100 megapixel sensors is, look at the uh, pixel density of cell phone camera sensors. So, so I think they're saying we do have that um, if we look at the cell phone uh, the pixel density. It's just not efficient and practical yet. The processing power and the cooling ratio of the image processors is not on the level to allow quick enough write speeds, and the PCs are not able to handle such large files either, unless we talk about super high-end setups. Also, there's not much practical usage of 100 megapixel files because of the half of the image would be noise or just interpolated data between the pixels. So, EDC Gadgets is basically inferring that we could make a 100 megapixel sensor, but not really a good one. Not what Moore's Law would have predicted that if we had taken the technology of the D800 at 36 megapixels, that by now, more than three years later, we should have had a 100 megapixel plus sensor performing at or better than the 36 megapixel sensor in the D800. It's interesting. What do you guys think? Has Moore's Law been proven wrong? Uh, or has is it is it there and it's just not cost effective, or is it going to be announced? You know, I predicted a 100 megapixel sensor coming out in a new body from Nikon. Are we going to see that this year? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Moore's law? Right, wrong, proven wrong? What do you think? Thanks for your uh, commentary, uh, EDC gadgets. Um, thoughtful, thought provoking. Appreciate it. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.